CBS 2's Gabe Erickson live tonight in Cedar Rapids with an important warning and it looks like a pretty hot sparkler there, Gabe. Yeah, these sparklers, I don't remember them being so hot when I was a kid, but they are hot. The grass is dry. These could easily start a fire. The dry spell continues and it is burning away at your odds of keeping those eyes in the sky this summer. If we're gonna err, we're gonna err on the, the side of safety. That means fireworks displays could ultimately be shut down like those at Freedom Festival. We're not planning on canceling them or anything like that um, as of right now. It'll be a game time decision by the fire experts. For now, they're making necessary preparations to keep the light up safe. We'll have a full complement of firefighters and fire marshals office people to monitor and uh, be proactive when those uh, fireworks are detonated. The fire department says small scale fireworks could cause the most damage during this drought. The tip of a sparkler, for instance, can burn at 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's especially important you don't put it on the ground and when you're done, you make sure you put it out. And use a, a coffee can, for example, filled with sand or water to dump and dispose of the of the sparklers. That will help prevent a flare up leading to grass or structural fires. Bottom line, most fireworks are illegal in the state anyway. During this entire upcoming week, we're going to have fireworks calls every night. And if we can find the person shooting off the fireworks, um, we'll have them destroy them, confiscate them, do whatever we have to do. Now, even just while these go off, they're dripping onto the grass. If you're all playing, it could be very dangerous, a fire hazard. Some other steps the fire department will take, they plan to have firefighters downtown on top of buildings in case hot ash falls. They also plan to wet down the areas where the fire uh, fireworks will be let go. And we're gonna wet this down just so we eliminate that fire hazard as well. We are covering the corridor tonight in Cedar Rapids. Gabe Erickson, CBS 2 News.